the hadith of uh, Sa'ad Sa'ad al-Khudri radiallahu anhu Sa'id al-Khudri uh, and also the hadith of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu in Bukhari the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said no fatigue no fatigue يعني, no tiredness and he said no disease no sorrow no sadness no hurt no distress that befalls a Muslim even even if it were the prick he receives from a thorn you know the thorn that pricks you very يعني, it can happen very quickly very something very minute huh but Allah expiates some of his sins for that that is enough when you're going through that stress that hardship that challenge know that Allah is rewarding you as long as you are patient as long as you are patient you have sabr and you don't act in a way that is showing yani uh, unacceptance of this in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so from amongst all also the the uh, the reasons that have been mentioned is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's trials are a sign of Allah's love they're a sign that Allah loves you the, the Prophet sallallahu he said in Bukhari he said whoever or whenever Allah wills good for a person he subjects him to an adversity he gives him a hardship so this is something that, that we need to remember inshallah ta'ala so these bitter hardships that we face in our everyday lives sometimes they're acting like medicine they're actually medicine now you know medicine is medicine most medicines they don't have a good taste you know people don't like to take medicine and you know especially children you know you give them medicine they want to quickly spit it out it's uncomfortable it might actually have some side effects sometimes it might put you through uh, some some side effect just to make you better and these are these are the challenges I like medicine these are the trials and tribulations that we receive that we don't necessarily like them but they are there to reform us they are there to purify us they are there to detoxify us as I mentioned earlier so uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending us this to purify us of um, of our sins.